Hey, what's going on, Chess Fanatics? Hope, uh, hope everyone's doing well. Played a game yesterday, uh, and we won. And then I played one game off camera uh, against a 1700. And, uh, yeah, we had a nice win in, like, I don't know, less than 20 moves. Uh, with, uh, with the checkmate on the board. So, uh, I don't know why those games never seem to come up in, uh, in this series. But, hey, you know, that's how she goes sometimes. I think, uh, maybe there's a difference in playing strength versus on camera and off. Uh, all right, we got the white pieces and uh, an opponent rated 1715. And uh, yeah, so the Sicilian invitation. I think we should just go ahead and play d5, for example. And now we have to be mindful of any of this. No, not really. I think we can just get the bishop out. Get ourselves castled. Now, before we bring the knight out, I'm kind of wondering if we should just look to push c4. I think we're gonna. We have e4 under control currently, so let's now get a bishop to b2. I feel like this is not too bad. Okay, let's complete our development. Now, what is the best way to do that? If we go here, here, if he pushes. I don't know if that's anything. I think what we'll do is look to just put a little more control around e4 for the moment. And then we'll maybe continue our journey. Okay, is this going to weaken everything too much? Okay, uh, you know, we have this kind of Meroxy bind set up, uh, which is comical. Because uh, we did have that uh, Sicilian invitation, which is what it is actually said that the uh, the opening is, so... Um, I don't know if this is, uh, this is a bad move. It just blunders a pawn. Yeah, absolutely idiotic. Absolutely idiotic. Maybe I should think for a second before, uh, before I move, but it is early and, uh, we're just, uh, maybe not fully caffeinated. That's what I'm going to blame. Okay, I think maybe we'll just try and reroute the knight. There's a good chance he might look to play a move like uh, d5 or e5. Okay, this is a this is a good move. Just trading off uh, arguably our strongest piece. So if we take knight takes, I I don't see any reason to help them develop. I'm assuming he's going to trade that off immediately though, because again that was a pretty strong piece. Now, is it knight back to defend or rook over? Oh, yeah, nice. Good move from our opponent. Hmm, okay. Yeah, these knights uh, are annoying, gotta say. Okay, let's just attack the bishop. Okay, so this would be good for us. Okay, let's just try and trade off. Now if the queen moves, we could have... Oh, okay. What about check, then what? Just king over? Hmm. Okay, check if king up. All right, let's not get too carried away. Yeah, good move. Hmm. What do we... What do we do here? Okay, we got... Uh, we got to speed up, basically, is what it's boiling down to. Okay. I mean, for the end game, that'll be a little bit worse. Hmm. Coming in. I mean, that is a good move. Hmm. Okay, we'll go knight down. This is looking kind of ugly, but maybe we can hold it. Might just look to just... Uh, don't even really want to do that. Okay, now what about this? We're threatening a fork. A big one. Yeah, if we can force a trade and get one of the rooks off the board, that would be great. What about this check? Is he coming over? Okay, let's just play this check. Okay, we'll just get in here and keep ourselves protected. A nice move. Now, this would be great, other than the fact that it... 
Okay, there's kind of... Oh, I just dropped that. God darn. Time pressure, man. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Um, okay, now does this... Does this work now? So, check. Take, take. I think it does. Hmm. Good move. Now, what can we do? Is it just lost? Okay, I think we have to do this. And... Okay, we better get to motor in here. Now, if we can get the queen here, that would be great. Oh, man, oh man, that was absolutely brutal. Nice winning position, uh, pretty consistently throughout the game, but we just played too slow. Let's see what the review says. Uh, yeah, guys, that one's a little, little painful. Played it uh, rather poorly, according to the machine here. 68.7, I mean, that's just not good. Okay, let's... Let's go to the critical positions. So this gave us a huge advantage, but we didn't capitalize on it. It wanted us to just play B4 uh, because there's just no squares. Oh, geez. That was an easily spottable tactic. And then even worse, we gave away our best piece. I don't think there was a lot that we could really do. It did want to interpose the knight. Uh, maybe that was the best option just to keep the pressure. Uh, here you can see that we got ourselves into a terrible position. Oh, this was a really bad move, but uh, uh, it just wanted the sack, which I had contemplated, but I didn't didn't initially see anything. Obviously, the silicone did, and we were just able to uh, go piece up. And at this point in time, like I probably should have just played to trade down quicker because our position was just generally better. I didn't, didn't like this. Um, let's see what the best move would have been here. Okay, so just keeping this protected. I did consider coming down here, but I felt like somehow it wasn't going to be uh, quite as active. And I like the idea of uh, getting down here. I thought that maybe there'd be some pressure, but unfortunately uh, that just wasn't the case. And wow, you can see, like, talk about tactics within the game. Like, we just hung this piece, which would have made it a dead draw. <laughs> it didn't like this. Oh, and this is even worse. Let's see what the best move was, because honestly, like, with little time, this was a, a tough position. Uh, okay, what is the point? We sacrifice this for, for what? Is it to come in here? No. For this mm, okay um pretty tough uh luckily we were able to yeah keep like a, a good position trading here i felt like was fine um, we should be able to cruise to some form of victory but unfortunately Yeah, we're just just not able to uh, make it in time. We, we ran out. Uh, hey, you know, at least we had a winning position. Uh, sometimes that's how she goes. Uh, I'm sure you guys can relate to, uh, to running out of time. Uh, maybe I should look at some 15-minute games and, and some increment. I know a lot of people play those. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it would allow for, uh, you know, the conclusion... Uh, of the game as opposed to getting into a scenario where it's just blasted because I mean he's never going to pass this pawn um, ultimately we'll we'll trade one of these rooks off at the very least and then we're going to just have a bunch of connected pawns here so yeah, it's definitely losing but um, I just need more time to convert it so thanks for watching today's guys uh, thanks for watching today guys I'll see you tomorrow